Hi, it's Steve from the uh, Seaside Allotment Channel. Uh, we're just taking a quick uh, walk down to Debbie's plot today. Uh, we're going to do the, the tour there. And uh, we're taking advantage of a rare um, few hours, perhaps, when the wind's dropped. It's been pretty rough. Okay, so here we are. And this is the first thing Debbie's done. Protecting her posts with uh, little cut off bits of drain pipe. So that's where it worked out really well. And uh, just down this border here, she's putting these massive uh, planting pockets, um, you know, protected by the kickboards on both sides. And she's put some strawberry runners in. And these are strawberry runners from, from my plot. And then uh, one of our friends over the way has given us some pine berries, I think they are. Uh, she's popped some of those in as well, although they're not. Um, they're not looking great. And she's done lots of cleaning up. So most of these beds were full of these uh, little bean frames. But most of those have been cleared out now. We've started planting up for winter. So let's go and have a look around. So this is the amazing New Zealand spinach. And it's coming to an end now. Um, but we're still managing to get a few few litres every other day off it um, but it probably won't last more than another week as soon as it gets a chill in the air uh, we lose that so we popped in some strawberries and these have been interplanted with uh, onions and garlic and we've also got some garlic in here I think um, yeah garlic just along the front there and then there's also, look at these ornamental beds. So that's a herb bed there. And this is a combination flower bed. And also, um, what's this? Corn salad, lamb's lettuce. So this is looking really nice. I planted this only not long ago, actually. And uh, it's starting to grow really healthily. So I'm really pleased with that. I'm a really big fan of lamb's lettuce. Just really love it. And then in this bed we've got winter miners lettuce interplanted with garlic uh, and a few flowers. That gorgeous little owl there as well. And this, this winter miners lettuce is great. It's really great. This is the first time we've grown it. And you just snip off the top um, and then there's new ones coming up from, from down below. So it just keeps on giving. And then this ochre, which we thought we'd lost, it was basically just looked so, um, so hopeless uh, in the middle of the year. And now it's just gone rampant. It obviously loves the cooler weather. So hopeful of a decent ochre harvest there. Although it might go the way of the sweet potatoes. And in the last video, we were worried that we wouldn't really get any uh, of these beans because we planted them way too late. But it took a long time to get this this bed sorted out but just look at these babies they're doing lovely now and some really nice big beans inside them you can feel them and there's a pretty good crop as well so it looks like we are definitely going to get a crop of these blotty beans and you can see that the uh, leaf growth is still pretty good a lot of the runner beans and things like that have pretty much had it now there's no leaf growth on them at all but uh, yeah, a lot of beans looking great. Saucy Sally the uh, Scarecrow is still standing up well to the weather. So all of the fruit trees have now finished cropping. Um, we actually managed to get a few plums off this one, even though uh, it got quite uh, uh, some sort of honey fungus or something like that. Anyway, most of the brassicas we've got on Debbie's plot are the um, broccoli and we're a big fan of these broccoli leaves we eat a lot of those um, but the plants look pretty healthy too and so we're looking forward to some uh, broccoli in the spring from these plants and looking great and we've got some kale nero uh, not my favorite kale i'm, I'm actually a, more of a fan of curly kale but we've got that too so it was our 31st wedding anniversary in September 
and 31st wedding anniversaries are traditionally marked with a gift of um, timepieces. So I gave Debbie this sundial and there's not enough sun to see it working at the moment but she's made this plinth and this kind of plinth is in honour of all the rubble that uh, she cleared off the site and this is the tiny tiny little sample of the rubble. I <laughs> think it's just amazing, she's done a fantastic job of that. So what else have we got? We've cropped all of those pairs and those were definitely Marks and Spencer's quality William pears. Everybody's really enjoyed those. We've still got a bag full of those in the fridge. Um, and more broccoli here. And um, we've transplanted um, some of these globe artichokes from Jenny's plot, and they were magnificent uh, in the spring and summer. So we're hoping that those survive the transplant experience. And we've got a few down there as well near those amazing broccoli plants. And the, the broccoli plants just look so impressive, don't they? You know, they, they really uh, have a place in the ornamental kitchen garden. So we've got some curly kale here, which is lovely. It's, the stuff on my plot is actually quite, um, quite tough, but the stuff on Debbie's plot is just it's really tender. So. This is my preference for the uh, kale that we consume and the stuff on my plot goes to friends and family. Um, so we've got a few just remnant lettuces and we've got some um, blackberries as well which are going to climb up uh, along this fence that uh, Debbie's put in as well. So many years ago one of the first things I did when I was gardening, probably 15 years ago or something like that, um, was I got these little tiny uh, coal frames and I planted strawberries in them and they're pretty much falling to pieces so I gave this one to Debbie and she's put a new lid on it and we've planted strawberries in it and we've also popped some garlic in as well, Let's see how that does under cover. So hopefully We'll get some early strawberries there. And she's pretty much finished this little area now where she's hoping to build or put a little cheap greenhouse that she's got, um, sheltered from the wind a little bit in that corner. So hopefully it will survive. And I think that is pretty much it. So it's, we're really pleased with this plot, it's going really nicely um, and it's been pretty productive and it's going to be really productive next year so we're really excited to see how it goes. I want she made this new gate which looks really great and she's making her own compost as well, um, not just using the compost from my plot. And just look at that stuff. It's a bit wet, but yeah, amazing. And she actually turns it, even though it's in these plastic bins. <laughs> so she's keen. All right, there we go. Quick tour of Debbie's plot.